Hey guys, my stupid screen recording is not working. I, I just did a spread manipulation thing again. Um, so these are the trades. And okay, not these ones. Those ones I sold. Alright, the balance has just been updated. Uh, I'm gonna just flick back and forth again. Okay, so I took these trade entries at 132141. And at those points of time, there was a. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a shame, the screen recording just went missing. So, I, I, I think right now, the way to go is spread manipulation trading. I entered those trades at the, when it was 167. 165, 167 thereabouts. So, what happened on the other hand was that the broker marked the price down to 137, 134. Uh, as you can see, I also had two other trades. At a point, it was 137, and I clicked it, it became 166. I clicked it again, it became 177. So, I was like, what the heck? And then later on, I sold it off. But if I had held these ones, it would have won as well. Um, so, right now, it's snowing, and if it's snowing a lot, just let the trades run on because if you let the trades run on, um, the trades are all very strong because of the snow and all the weird weather stuff going on in the world. And uh, these ones work, work, work out really, really well. So I uh, just wanted to update you guys about what's working for me and I think this is something that's working quite well. The last webinar that we had, I, I did so on this live and it worked out exceptionally well as well. So when you see that the candles are very gradually going up, uh, then it's probably a good time to do a spread manipulation. You see, if it's always within the channel, it's probably going to keep going up that way as well. So as long as it touches down and want to bottom bounce, just just continue with it and it is uh, trend forward trade. All right, that's all for now.